Manila Trench. Hidden beneath the tranquil surface of the South China Sea, a tremendous force is at play, one that most people are completely unaware of. There are no vibrations, no smoke, and no alarms, just a silent buildup of pressure deep within the Earth's crust, intensifying day by day. To the millions living in this area, the ocean appears calm and serene. However, scientists recognize a different reality, a concealed danger, a geological time bomb ready to erupt. At the center of this threat is the Manila Trench, an extensive undersea fault line that stretches over 600 miles from southern Taiwan to Muro Island in the Philippines. Although you may not be familiar with it, geologists identify it as one of the most hazardous subduction zones in the world. The concern? It's unsettling quietness. This isn't merely a fault line, it's a megathrust. An extraordinary geological feature capable of generating devastating earthquakes and tsunamis that could obliterate entire coastlines. Consider the catastrophic events of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami or the 2011 disaster in Japan. The Manila Trench is part of that same dangerous category and is overdue for a significant rupture. This raises an important question. What occurs when a fault of this magnitude remains locked for too long? What lies beneath the surface in this stillness? And how close are we to a calamity that could reshape Southeast Asia in an instant? Today, we'll explore the volatile nature of the Manila Trench, delving into its restless geology, mysterious history, and the immediate threat it poses. If you're fascinated by Earth science, extreme weather, or simply want to understand what's beneath our feet, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's uncover the secrets of one of the planet's most perilous locations. The Manila Trench is located on the edge of the Philippine Mobile Belt, a tectonic zone that is continuously shifting and grinding. Here's the basic concept. The dense oceanic crust of the South China Sea, part of the vast Eurasian plate, is being pushed eastward beneath the Philippine Sea Plate. This process, known as subduction, occurs at a surprisingly rapid pace of about two to three inches annually. This movement accumulates energy like a spring under tension. What makes this region particularly precarious is that the fault is locked, meaning the two tectonic plates aren't gliding past each other. They are stuck together. All that accumulated energy has nowhere to go, until it does. When that pressure finally releases, the result won't be a minor shake. We're talking about a potential megaquake capable of devastating cities unleashing massive tsunamis and transforming the region's geography in mere minutes. This isn't a hypothetical scenario, it's a scientific reality, and the warning signs are evident. Imagine this. In a matter of seconds, a concealed fault line beneath the seabed shifts dramatically. A section of the Earth, spanning 400 to 500 meters, suddenly gives way. The ocean floor rises by over 30 feet in certain areas, lifting vast sections of the seabed as if a trapdoor has opened underwater. This kind of seismic activity doesn't just cause tremors. It displaces billions of gallons of water, triggering a tsunami that could surge toward coastlines at jetliner speeds. This is the nightmare scenario that scientists are monitoring in the Manila Trench, a powerful yet little-known fault system lurking beneath the South China Sea. This fault doesn't operate in isolation. It's part of a complex and dangerous tectonic network. Nearby volcanic arcs, shifting fault lines, and subduction zones interact like the components of a ticking time bomb, creating a hazard zone much larger and more intricate than any single fault line. What adds to the unease is the unknown. Unlike Japan, which benefits from centuries of detailed seismic records, the Philippines lacks this kind of historical documentation. Written records in the region began much later. However, the Earth has left behind clues, and they are not reassuring. Along Luzon's western coast, scientists have discovered ancient coral terraces. Natural platforms made of coral reefs that were suddenly uplifted by powerful earthquakes. Some of these terraces show vertical rises of 6 to 10 feet, indicating that significant seismic activity has affected the region in the past. Here's the concerning part. Radiocarbon dating of these formations suggests that massive earthquakes could occur every 400 to 600 years. So, when was the last substantial quake? Scattered historical records refer to significant earthquakes and possible tsunamis, such as one near Muro in 1627 and large quakes in 1796 and 1852. However, 
Due to vague and inconsistent accounts, we cannot definitively confirm if the Manila Trench was responsible. What we do know is this. It has been quiet for too long. In the realm of earthquakes, a silent fault can be a warning sign. Geologists suspect that the Manila Trench may be locked, meaning the tectonic plates are stuck and unable to release stress through smaller quakes. Instead of dissipating, this energy accumulates like pressure behind a dam, until one day it may burst. In the last few decades, there have been earthquakes in the area. In 1994, a magnitude 7.1 quake struck near Muro, and in 2006, a 6.2 quake hit Pangasinan. While these events cause damage, here's the crucial detail. They occurred on nearby faults or deeper within the Earth, not on the main megathrust of the Manila Trench. Furthermore, none of them triggered tsunamis. This isn't a relief, it's a warning because it implies that the primary fault may still be holding back something much more powerful. Therefore, the pressing question is not if the Manila Trench will rupture, but when it will happen, and how prepared we are for that moment. Scientists are less concerned about smaller earthquakes than about what they might trigger. Late in 2024, a series of offshore tremors near Elocos Sur, followed by a magnitude 5.6 quake near Elocos Norte, caught the attention of seismologists across the region. On the surface, these weren't catastrophic events, but deep within the crust, they may have nudged the Manila Trench closer to a catastrophic rupture. Now, in 2025, the shaking continues. Smaller quakes continue to shake the region, subtle signs that something larger may be on the horizon. But that's not all. Utilizing high-precision GPS and seismic sensors, researchers have detected something more insidious. Slow slip events. These movements along the fault occur gradually over days or weeks. They're imperceptible to the average person. No sudden jolts. But in seismology, these quiet shifts often signal impending danger. In regions like Japan and New Zealand, slow slip events have preceded major megathrust earthquakes. This pattern is now emerging along the Manila Trench, suggesting the Earth is quietly preparing to unleash its fury. Seismologists concur that the critical question isn't if the Manila Trench will trigger a massive quake, but when it will happen. The science is unsettling. Based on the geological pressure that has accumulated, the next significant quake could reach magnitudes between 8.8 .8 and 9.3. This places it on par with the devastating 2011 Japan tsunami and the 2004 Indian Ocean disaster, two of the deadliest natural calamities in recent history. In the worst-case scenario, a rupture could extend from southern Taiwan to northern Muro, violently shifting the seafloor by as much as 10 meters, over 30 feet, vertically. Such displacement would generate an enormous wall of water, propelling it toward land. Tsunami models indicate that within just 10 to 15 minutes, destructive waves could crash into the western coast of Luzon. Cities like Subic, Dupan, and parts of Metro Manila would have nearly no time to evacuate. But the peril wouldn't end there. That tsunami would continue to race across the South China Sea, potentially reaching the shores of Hong Kong, Macau, Southern China, Vietnam, and Malaysia within two to four hours. Simulations from researchers in Taiwan and Japan predict wave heights could exceed 10 meters, over 30 feet, in the Philippines and rise to five meters along parts of China's southern coast. Such waves would be enough to engulf buildings, sweep away entire neighborhoods, and overwhelm critical infrastructure in densely populated areas. The human toll could be catastrophic. Tens of millions of people reside in low-lying coastal regions throughout Southeast Asia, many of which lack advanced early warning systems or evacuation plans. A massive tsunami could obliterate communities in mere minutes, leaving a path of destruction, loss, and displacement. The economic ramifications would be equally severe. Ports, factories, and vital shipping routes could be destroyed or severely damaged, causing ripple effects throughout the region and the globe. This is why experts are sounding the alarm now. Not to incite fear, but to advocate for preparedness. When the Manila Trench finally erupts, the countdown won't just begin. It will already be underway. If the Manila Trench ruptures, the devastation won't be confined to the coastline. It will have far-reaching consequences. Metro Manila, a key financial and industrial hub in Southeast Asia, could see critical infrastructure devastated. Roads, bridges, ports, and power plants flattened or flooded. 
The repercussions wouldn't stop there. 